Assalamualaikum, good morning Today we're going to uh, do on our lecture 9 That is medical and health insurance So medical and health insurance is divided into two um, important domain That is a basic of health insurance And a group insurance that is employee compensation program Medical and health insurance cover health-related risks such as hospital admission, medical treatments, medication, surgical costs, medical tests conducted during admission inclusive of pre- and post-hospital-related expenses, critical illness coverage, long-term health care, disability benefit. Yeah, these are all the medical and health insurance which covers um, this um, risk. Types of health insurance policy, we have hospital and surgical, critical illness, major medical, as well as long-term health care. For hospital and surgical, it covers medical treatments and all related costs during inpatient treatments of a hospital admission. Okay, when you are sick, you will go to the hospital and in the and at the hospital you will present your medical card if you have purchased it before and with these medical cards uh, it gives you a privilege of um, being supported by an insurance company uh, later you will need to contact your agent and they will actually fill in claims for you at the insurance claim department and they will pay on your behalf whatever that is covered under your package of insurance and you go home um, healthier yeah and then uh, we have out of pockets these um, are the element that the insured will first need to pay hospital bill upon discharge usually when the insured is treated at the hospital not on the insurer's list panel so the insured needs to file a claim to the insurer for reimbursement of all expenses incurred as long as it is covered under your insurance policy. And another element is that annual or lifetime limit. We have explained it before. Multiple claims every year up to a certain annual limit and some insurer offer lifetime limits to cover the policy holder's entire life. Pre and post hospital charges Pre-hospital charges are expenses such as clinical visit, diagnostic tests, and medication. Whereas post-hospital charges are expenses like follow-up checkups, tests, and medication. Benefit covered under medical and health insurance policy are uh, hospitalization and surgical policy, among others. What they usually cover are hospital accommodation and nursing expenses, Surgical expenses, that is for surgeon's fee and costs associated with surgery. Physician expenses, inpatient tests. Sometimes, this uh, policy also cover overseas, cover accidental death benefit, outpatient tests or consultation. What this policy do not usually cover are maternity, congenital abnormalities, accidental injuries or illnesses arising from racing, cosmetic or plastic surgeries, dental work or treatments including oral surgery. This is what they do not usually cover. So risk of hospitalization is high, hence to limit the insurance risk, certain limitations are imposed. Deductibles, co-insurance and exclusions these are the three limitation to insurability remember we did it in the past on the last um, lecture example an insurer impose imposes both deductibles and co-insurance requirement the, deduct, the deductible is 1000 the co-insurance is 1910 the approved expense of a hospital bill came up to 10000 so how much the insurer will have to pay and how much the insured should pay so the insured needs to pay 1000 that is the deductible plus 10000 minus 1000 that is the the balance times by 10% because that is the portion denotes for the insured so the total amount the insured needs to pay is 1900 the insurer needs to pay 
10,000 minus the balance that the insured paid, that is 8,100. Next, exclusion. Exclusion are pre-existing condition. What does it mean by that? Condition and illnesses experienced by you prior for applying prior to applying for the policy. These conditions and illnesses could would be excluded from coverage by your insurance company. You should check with your insurance company regarding the details of pre-existing condition for the policy that you intend to buy. Normally, pre-existing condition, for example, if you are um, obese, so obese will lead to certain types of uh, health condition. Probably you are diabetic. So diabetic will not be covered under your medical policy because this is what you have before you purchase your insurance policy. Specified illness. They are definite, they are definite as 12 disability example tumors and gastritis and their related condition you will not be covered for these illnesses if the innocence has been treated or occurred during the first 12 months of the policy this is what they specify in their policy certain po different policy have different specified illnesses qualifying or waiting period you will not be eligible for any claims arising from any medical or physical condition within the first 30 days of the cover except for accidental injuries uh, these are the exclusion next we'll move on to critical illness these are the types of 36 critical illness that uh, have been listed out by main major majority of the insurance company it lies from heart attack coronary artery disease uh, requiring surgery up to loss of limbs so cancer cost in malaysia if you take a look at these uh, figures yeah 2013 um, the the illness for civic cancer yeah ovary cancer uh, the cost is 60000 and it is expected in 10 years time to be more than that to be more than double the the price now so it will be around 186000 ringgit in 2023 so the cost of having uh, this critical illness will actually down by more than double the price now so chances of critical illness within the next 20 years so uh, as you can see the graph is increasing yeah is increasing um, from 25 30 35 up to 60 so the chances of critical illness by percent is going to be 60 percent you'll be getting either heart attack cancer stroke and dialysis so these are the basic 36 the types of critical illness and what it covers the basic 36 critical illnesses paid out as a lump sum upon diagnosis of any of one of the 36 critical illnesses payment are as advance payment from the basic sum assured which will reduce the basic sum assured accordingly early diagnosis of 36 critical illnesses will be paid upon early diagnosis of any of those critical illnesses paid out as a partial lump sum from the sum assured of early diagnosis rider according to the level of severity of the illnesses for example car carcinoma in situ or stage zero cancer is where abnormal cells have formed but have not yet spread to the surrounding tissues and organ so this condition does not fulfill the definition of cancer under the basic 36 critical illnesses as being a malignant invasive or uncontrolled growth of normal cells so this will not be included multiple critical illnesses a rider which pays multiple claims on diagnosis of any one of the 36 critical illnesses a rider is not the rider who rides motorbikes yeah? a rider is additional clauses added to their policy so uh, these multiple critical illnesses addresses the issue of relapse of the illness allow multiple claims after a certain period of time of being clear by the early diagnosis and the insured cannot purchase additional critical illnesses cover once a claim has been made okay 
So claim uh, for hospital and surgical, multiple claims can be made during the insured lifetime as long as the policy are in force. Uh, claims are made directly by the healthcare provider to the insurer. Payment is made directly from the insurer to the healthcare provider, not to the person or the patient. Claim amount is according to the actual hospital bill subject to the limits of the policy contract. The critical illness uh, claims are made in a lump sum upon confirmed diagnosis by a medical practitioner of any one of the 36 critical illnesses. Hence, the critical and illness benefit terminates after the initial claim. So, claim are made directly to the insurer by the insured. Payment is made directly from the insurer to the insured. Claim amount is not subject to actual hospital bills incurred, but the face amount of the critical illnesses covered that is purchased. So, if your bill amount is hundred thousand, but um, the 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 policy that you purchase one hundred fifty thousand, you'll be claimable up to one hundred fifty thousand. So, duration of covered for hospital and surgical. Due to longer life expectancy, insurers have extended hospital and surgical benefit for an entire lifetime till the insured reaches 100 years. Earlier policy were till 70 years or 80 years only. So critical illnesses, policyholder can choose a cover uh, till 70 years old to cover his or her lifetime until the age of 100 years.